Alrighty. Oh, this is all exciting! Fantastic stuff. Right. Welcome, welcome to this exciting episode of the Lunch and Learn. And I'm really, really excited about this one because I think it's one of those episodes that everybody has been anticipating and I know y'all been waiting for it. Nicole, thank you so much. I really appreciate the love. Thank you so much for that. And thanks for the testimonial. Thanks for the video. Thanks for everything. I'm really, really excited. You know what? What all that does? It boosts my confidence. Thank you so much for that. Now, if this is your first time watching this, my name is Prosper Tarovinga, and I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital, your one-stop uh, shop for everything digital here in Melbourne. And I'm also the creator and um, the designer of the Online Prosperity Blueprint, your four-step guide to online prosperity. And every single day, like everybody knows, we sit around here for 30 minutes and we're talking about how we can help you earn a lot more money while you're doing all that you love with less struggle, okay? So I don't know if you've watched and seen the topic that we're going to be talking about today. It's all about confidence, all right? confidence and i see erica is in the house erica thank you so much for tuning in nicole man met respect and met love for you especially after today now i want you to type in in the comments below what does confidence mean to you what does confidence mean to you all right um the reason why i'm talking about this is um first of all yesterday i talked about how people are um, stopping themselves from succeeding just because they are afraid everybody else would think that they're being materialistic, all right? And I also then stumbled upon this one limiting uh, factor that people are afraid of success because once they become confident, people would, or the people that are around them would start thinking that they're egotistical, all right? Or is that the word for it? I'm not quite sure. You know, they're full of ego or they're not... Um, you know, being their normal self. Now, I would want to clarify this right here, right now, that if you're confident and if you're happy to deliver your message, your product, your service to other people, there is no ego there. You're not being egotistical. You are doing what is supposed to be done. You know why? Because it's going to help other people be, do, and have a life that's worth living. All right? Now, my other question to you now is, who are you to stop yourself from passing on that message that you might have that might save somebody else's life? Who are you because of your lack of confidence to stop other people from receiving the goodness that is imparted onto you either in your words, in your actions, in, in, in your mentorship or whatever it is that you have that you can deliver as goods and gifts to other people? Who are you? All right. You see, the thing is, we stop ourselves from doing a lot of things just because we're not prepared or we're not confident enough or we're not sure if what we're doing is actually needed or we don't have the confidence to move on. And then we stop ourselves dead track. You know what? Dead in the tracks. You know why? Because of the lack of confidence. When we started this video, I was dancing, you know what I mean? I was, I was happy. It's not that I'm not nervous. Obviously, when you're speaking to a camera and you don't know who's on the other side, you get the nerves. You don't know who is watching because I'm opening up myself to a world of people that I probably haven't met and their perception, I cannot see what they're doing behind the scenes. That might take away a lot of confidence, but... If you let small things like that get to you, it will stop you, it will thwart you from being and doing and having a business and a life that's worth living and that you actually enjoy. All right? I'm going to really, really, really open up your mind right now and really tell you that confidence is a skill, but it is a skill that you actually need in order to, first of all, have clients. Second of all, even get married, you need confidence. 
Third of all, to talk to people, partners, whatever. Every human interaction that you're going to do, you're going to need to be at least confident because people buy from people. People buy off of confidence. They want to be confident in what you're saying and how your product is going to work for them. And if you're not wasting their time, people need to be guaranteed that you are the person that's going to be doing and help them be doing, have whatever it is that they aspire for in their life. All right. Now, Erica says confidence to me is trust in who I am a movement in the right direction for me and others. I don't stop me. I follow my life purpose. This is super important stuff you're talking about. Thank you so much. Because without confidence, you're not going to wake up in the morning knowing that what you're doing is important. All right. A lot of people don't succeed in life because they feel like they're not needed and they're going to need other people to validate them or pat them on the shoulder and say, hey, Erica, today is your day. I'm afraid to tell you right now, nobody's going to come and knock on your house's door and give you the confidence that you need, except after you watch this video today. Okay, so to me and from my own understanding, confidence is a state of mind. All right. With whatever way you're feeling at that particular moment, that's your confidence. All right. Matthew says, I'm finding confidence in seeing myself as equal to most aspiring peers. Everybody is on the same pavement, Ma Matthew. Everybody is learning. All right. Everybody is trying to be and do and have. Some people do it a little bit quicker than others, but that doesn't mean they're above you. All right. Nicole says confidence is the ability to conquer any goal, any challenge and sell value. That's amazing because once you know that what you're doing is needed, once you know that what you're doing can help somebody, Nicole, what you, once you know that what you're, you're doing can save somebody from hurting themselves or putting themselves in danger or can save the money, you get confidence. You know what I mean? I'm confident every single day because I know my videos are valued. My videos are shared by a lot of people. My videos are actually helping people to start, scale and grow businesses all over the world. That's what gives me the confidence. All right. So like I was saying, confidence is actually a state of mind. All right. And then, you know, it's a way of being in, in, in. If you actually now start having a belief in yourself, the world will take notice. Your friends will take notice. Other people will take notice. OK, so we know it and we know when you can see when somebody is confident, they're courageous, they're full of energy, they're very self-assured and they can become a leader. And people like following people that seem to have a direction in their life. Now, if you wake up in the morning and you're like, ah, sorry, would you like to buy some Tic Tacs? I don't know. There's three colors in there. Do you think somebody would want to hear the rest of the story or hear the rest of what you've got to say? All right. So when you're confident in your own skin, in your own comfort level, and in, in the way you speak, the way you do your things, business will start flocking to you. All right. Because at the end of the day, people are tired of one click wonders. People are tired of people that are not going to be there tomorrow. That's why they need you to instill the confidence that you're going to be there tomorrow. You're going to be there next month and you're going to be there to help them with their dreams. Nobody cares about you. That's a fact. Nobody cares that you exist. Nobody cares that you are even there up until you start helping them. Then they start to take notice. All right. So a lack of confidence can actually stem from maybe a few number of factors. Maybe maybe you don't have enough knowledge. How many things can you actually Google right now and, and find the knowledge that you need in order to answer questions that your customers might have? So maybe it's not a lack of uh, confidence. It's a lack of the need to want to serve. Maybe it's laziness. It's not lack of confidence that you don't know. You haven't searched enough. So maybe you're just lazy. Now, do you want to go down as being a lazy person? Do you want everybody else around you to just look at your stuff and say, ah, oh, she's lazy. When she's ready, we'll get to start working with her. You know, confidence may also stem from maybe a lack of experience. But you know what? If you're not doing the stuff that will help you start scale and grow your business, if you're not making the calls, if you're not talking to the right people or networking enough, is that anyone's problem? 
You know? So I asked you that question earlier on. What does confidence mean to you? Yeah? Some people are just really risk averse. Or they are afraid of change. I know we're human. And humans are creatures of habit. All we ever do is run away from things that are not benefiting us. Or things that we think are hard work. And then automatically you, you lack the confidence in moving forward. And people also lack confidence in you. Grand opening of your company. Grand closing. All right. So depending on the on whatever situation you might be going through right now, your lack of confidence can actually hold you back from your job, can hold you back from loving your spouse, can hold you back from um, you know meeting people that can help you with your business, and it actually just end of it all. It results you in just being stagnant, and you're missing opportunities, and you're missing all the advancement that you can possibly have by just saying hi to somebody else who can link you up to your network. Hi, Barbara. How are you doing? Esther, thank you so much for tuning in. Esther, tell me something. Are you from Zimbabwe? If you are, just type in yes in the comments there. Let me know. Um, I've got something later on for, 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 for people like you. All right? So at the end of the day, you, you, you might see some people that are walking around or they're starting off in their businesses and they're exuding confidence all the time. And you're surprised and you, 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 you try and, 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 and try and match up to what they're doing. But I want you to start building the muscle of confidence within you. Because it is something that you can earn if you actually are intentional about what you want to achieve within your business. Sean, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. You know, so some of these things, it's, it's, it might sound like um, all airy-fairy, but it is actually common sense. You know, I'm going to probably assume that, um, you know, you're like me. You, 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 you probably are just starting and you don't know what it is that's actually stopping you from reaching out to other people. Maybe you're not confident in your, um, in your message. You're not confident in your website. You're not confident in the things that are working around you. Esther, hi. Yes, no box in Bible. My way, my God is in you. Eh? You know, but at the end of the day, like I'm saying, I'm just going to assume, um, you know, that, that you probably don't have a brilliant mentor or you probably don't have a rich uncle or somebody who's going to give you all the robs. I want to explain to you that you are enough. All you got to do is let somebody realize that. That's all that matters. All right. Barbara says, absolutely. Confidence is key. I love what I do. And I'm starting group assisting virtual assistants entering the industry. And I um, only started a group last night. OK, that's pretty cool. That's a lot of confidence right there because you're helping people start something that, you know, is going to help them because you're confident enough in yourself and in your delivery. OK. All right. So, you know, like I'm saying, I might just assume right now you probably don't have a mentor and all these things. Uh, once you start talking to people that have been or are where you want to be, you start gaining the confidence. The people that are around you, your environment, all the people that 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 surround you will boost your confidence. So you want to be careful about your surroundings, what you read and who you associate with. All that will boost confidence in you. All right. So, you know, you know, sometimes when when you see people showing up or when you see things happening or some people that are really, um, you know, starting afresh or just, you know, you know, you know, startups or people that haven't had a, their first client. When you talk to them, they don't seem to to know if what they're saying is going to help, first of all, themselves and second of all, the, the person they're trying to help. You know, successful people often really just exude confidence. All right. That's the reason why people follow them, because they, they feel like they're going somewhere and it just really helps them to continuously, um, you know, you know, give and impart knowledge and influence. All right. Now, it is obvious that people that are confident are actually people that believe in themselves and they believe in what they're doing. So it's very, very important to have trust in your product, trust in your message, all right? 
No matter nobody, if, if people would say no to you, as long as you know that what you have works and it has worked for other people or it has worked on you, you will have the confidence. You know? That's why people in network marketing are not confident enough with themselves. You know why? Because they haven't seen success within themselves. Because they're selling something they don't believe in. And that's why they're annoying. All right? So, you know, it, it, it isn't something, you know, people that are successful and people that actually really do well, all right? Um, like what Barbara says, confidence breeds success, success breeds confidence. Okay, it's, it's a whole cycle of events that needs to be happening in order for you to bring out your message, to connect with people, and to show up and show people that you're going to be there, not just today, but in for as long as you're alive. So with all these successful people, it isn't their successes that actually just makes them confident. It's the confident has to be there first. You know, think about it. Doubt breeds doubt. All right. You know, you know, when, 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 when you don't believe in yourself, how can you expect somebody else to believe in you? How can you expect somebody to believe in your abilities? How can you expect somebody to believe in your product? And how can you expect somebody to believe your words? If you don't believe them yourself, you know, so it, it, it does take a certain amount of, uh, um, you know, confidence for you to actually reach out for new challenges and new horizons. Okay, because sometimes some people stop themselves from reaching out to maybe potential clients because they're afraid of the word no, or they're afraid of what that person is going to think, you know. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Barbara says, gonna have to go. Thought I'd pop my head. Love your work. Thank you so much, Barbara. You also give me confidence in what I'm doing. You know? A lot of people that are maybe fearful or that are just insecure, they tend to stay in their comfort zones. But I want to tell you something, guys. In comfort zones, nothing ever happens within your comfort zones. Comfort zones rarely ever expand on their own. You see, nothing that was ever great or nothing that was ever put out there was built in somebody who was in their comfort zone. People have to, you know, go out, maybe move continents, move countries in order for them to come back and say, yes, we have won this battle. You know, that's why a lot of people that let confidence get stuck in, you know, in, in, in maybe dead end jobs and, you know, they let all the valuable opportunities that might be available to them online or in person pass them by. All right. So it's, it's not that you, you need a new technique or you need a new shiny object. You just need to have a lot of confidence within yourself. Confidence that what you're saying is right. Confidence that what you're selling is, is the best, uh, you know, solution for your customers. Confidence that what you have and what you're going to do for your customers is what they actually need at that particular time. We all know that our, most of our customers don't even know, you know, what, what their problem is. But if you're confident enough to tell them that what they're doing needs X, Y, Z, a solution that you can confidently give to them, well, do you think they're not going to give you their credit card? Do you think they're not going to give you their credit card? And Terrence, Terrence Freeman says they're first time. Thank you so much for tuning in, man. Connect with other people within and, and just show that you're confident enough. Let us know what you do. We're family here. Yeah? Because at the end of the day, people that are not confident, they always now start having somebody else to blame. You know? Because unconfident people, they often feel like they're at the mercy of some sort of external, um, you know, circumstance. They feel like, oh, just because the internet is not working, um, that means I can't go on live or whatever other excuse they can give just because it's their confidence that's stopping them from reaching out to their customers. You know, I know that successful people, they're never, you know, deterred or stopped in their tracks by any obstacle that might come in, you know, from wherever. This is why they rise up in the first place, because they're confident and they show up for whatever it is that's going to come to their way. You know, so confidence is really a crucial building block if you really want to be successful in anything that you're ever going to do.
Can you imagine if you're not confident enough to show your own profile picture online? Do you think anyone would want to do business with you if they cannot see your complete face or who you exactly are? If you're not confident enough to at least show up and write a, a status or you can actually, um, you know, let people know what it is that you can help them with. Or if you're not like Terence who is confident enough to introduce himself and say, you know what, I've been sitting on the fence um, all this time. I'm here now. Guys, welcome me here. You know? No one is stopping you from doing what you want to do. No one is stopping you from accomplishing any of the goals that you want to do. It's really, really time for you to actually look and remove any barriers that you've created yourself around doubt. You know, no one is stopping you. You're just not confident enough. What if I told you that every single um, year that you wake up, every single day that you're waking up, you are signing a check of $1 million, but you're giving it away by not taking action, by not being confident? How much money are you stealing from yourself at the end of the week? How much money are you stealing from yourself at the end of the month? How much money are you stealing from yourself at the end of every quarter or every year? Just by not showing up, just by being doubtful of what your abilities are. You know? Sometimes, you know, it, it's, 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 it's maybe your environment or it's maybe the things that you read or maybe... Because when you're growing up as a kid, I've got a two-year-old girl. All right. She is so confident. She walks into anything, walks into the shop, picks whatever she wants. She doesn't really care what happens because of her confidence, you know, and she gets what she wants. She she won't stop nagging you until she gets what she wants because she's confident enough that you're going to supply it to her. Why not you? Why not you stepping up every single day and telling Mother Nature or whatever deity you believe in that today is my day, I need what's, what's meant for me. So most of the confidence, we, we take it away from ourselves because maybe we're afraid of failure, maybe we're afraid of what people will say that are around us. If you should strive to surround yourself with people that inspire you, people that want you to do better, people that want you know more things out of you, you will do better. But people are happy to surround themselves with everybody that just drags them down. You know why? Because it's safer and it makes them feel happier. If you find yourself being smarter than your friends, your relatives or anything else, then you're stealing from yourself. You know? Why would you allow people that are not moving anywhere to be a part of your life and if they're going to suck your own confidence? You know, and what Terence is saying, what are you confidently committed to? Like I was saying, if you've got a message that is being delivered to a market and you are confident that that message is going to help somebody have a life that's worth living, have a life that's decent, you would have the confidence to actually tell that person, hey, brother, I'm here to tell you that you need to do X, Y and Z so you can get X, Y and Z results. All right. So I think confidence stems from what's your environment like? Where do you want to head out to? Because um, I was speaking to uh, Tina earlier on today and we were talking about how when you have a goal that's bigger than you, all you got to do is reverse engineer to that goal. And when you do do that, you have the confidence to step in and say, you know what, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to do it. And you've got ways to do it. You know? Sometimes we also stop ourselves by asking what if questions, you know, you know, you know, you're like, what if this doesn't work out or what if, um, you know, you know, the, 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 this is taken away from me. You see, what if statements throw fuel in the fire of stress, of worry, and then you, you, you lose confidence by not being certain about certain things yourself. You know, if you really want to ask yourself what if questions, there's questions you got to ask. How come your heart beats without you thinking about it? How come you can see without you telling your eyes what to see? 
All right. So if you ask yourself, what if it means you're questioning the whole universal structure that's keeping you alive in the first place? You know, what if questions are the ones that then trigger your anxiety and you lose the confidence and they're throwing in a whole big fire of stress and worry. And once you start having that, it shows in your work, it shows in your voice. And after that, nobody really cares about you anymore because you're done. Yes, exactly. Peter says, what if? Stop hoping and start doing. Because all you really need is to secure yourself with confidence. Do you know what I mean? You know, all these um, what if question, you know, um, questions, they, 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 they won't get you anywhere. A lot of things can go in a, in a, in a whole different direction. The more time you spend on worrying about the possibilities or... You know what I mean? The more, the less time you have, you know, the courage to actually take action and do things that are productive in order to move and be and do and have the things that you really aspire for. So stop asking what if because it sucks away your confidence. You know, you just need to do, you just need to show up and recognize that there's a big, big difference between worrying and strategic thinking about your future. Stop putting in what if into your, 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 your daily life, you know? And sometimes it's just, it's just a matter of really, really knowing where you want to go, how you're going to be when you arrive there. And that instills all the confidence that you need because no one is going to buy you or buy from you if you're not showing that you are the right person for them to make that purchase from you. I really want you to be confident and exactly what I always talk about. I want you to earn more money within your business and I want you to do it with less struggle. All right? Because the less struggle you have, the more confidence you have in actually delivering your message. In actually telling people and helping people to be, do and have. And you also having a business that's profitable and you can actually enjoy working in it. I enjoyed these videos. You know why? Because it brings me confidence knowing that there's people that I'm actually helping and people that are actually appreciating what I'm doing. So start looking within yourself. What do you have that you can give out so that people can thank you for it? And then at the end of the day, you do have all the confidence that you can actually to help other people be, do and have. Do you know what I mean? So you want to focus on solutions. Once you start putting your attention on solutions, it actually then determines your emotional state because you then notice that everything is figure outable. And once you know that you can figure out anything, you, you, you no longer fixate on problems that you're facing. You actually, pre, you know, start creating and relating for the people that you actually want to work with. You know, when you, when you, when you change, you, you know, your focus from what if, you now start focusing on actions and an action plan. And once you know the steps that you need to do, automatically you just continuously do it. You know, when you focus on the actions that will make you a better person, you know, build you a better business, it, it enhances your, your circumstances. The world will take notice. All the people around you will start taking notice. And you know what happens? It builds a sense of self-belief and that self, you know, you know, sufficiency and, and, and being there produces very, very positive emotion and gives you an impressive performance, which then builds confidence. You can't sell to me if you can't tell me that what you have is going to help me get better. So you got to be another level in order to come around and tell anybody else that what I have, this is what I have, this is what we'll do for you and let's go further. You got to have confidence, you know, and sometimes some people don't have confidence because we're, we're not giving ourselves room to breathe. We're not forgiving ourselves just because you made a mistake before you, you're not forgiving yourself that, um, you know, you, you're the right person to tackle that move, that, 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 that you know, uh, business or whatever it is that you're doing. We all sleep up. We are all human. You know what I mean? But it's critical that you forgive yourself and move on. Because if you don't forgive yourself, you lose confidence. All right? You, 
whatever it is, you don't have to ignore how the mistake made you feel so that you don't repeat it, but you have to forgive yourself that it happened and I've learned from it and now what I want to do is move on and do better, be better and be available for those that are actually paying money for my existence. Because that's what your customers are doing. They are paying and footing the bill of your existence and you got to pay it back with confidence so that it continues. All right. So instead, you want to shift your attention to what you're going to improve of yourself. And once you improve that, your confidence level arises. All right. So I spoke about a lot of things here today, but I really, really hope that these lessons, as I am telling them every single day, you know, the, you know, it's, it's stuff that I've also learned and it's stuff that I read about, you know, and I really, really appreciate it if you would maybe share these videos. For me, it's no longer a popularity contest. I'm good, all right? But I want to help other people gain confidence within their business, within themselves, so that they can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And if you really want to be confident in yourself and you're confident in this message that we have delivered today, I want you to share this message right now and type in, I've shared this because I'm confident. Type in, shared because I'm confident, right? So, you know, I, I always come around just to remind you and me that the, the desire that we have cannot be fixed by a new and shiny object. It all starts there. It's the confidence, it's the little tweaks, it's the little mind shifts that will actually make you be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I could come around here and sell you every program that I have, but it won't make sense if you're not confident that you're the person that can execute, you're the person that can finish that course, and you're the person that can actually, you know, have a business that's what you really want. And thank you so much, Nicole, for, for sharing this. Okay, so at the end of the day, this is yours. This is who you are. You got to testify your confidence and that you're going to go out there and actually show the world that you were not a mistake. You are a confident person and a human being that deserves their attention. I want to see you in the newsfeed. Thank you so much for tuning in today.